Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Bush Square, and if you're subscribed to the channel, you'll know that I've been making a handful of videos talking about how Sony can improve the PlayStation 4 experience in 2018 and beyond. But one topic that I think gets overlooked quite a lot is actually the PlayStation Store. Now, a lot of you will probably still buy your games at retail, and that's absolutely fine, but there is undoubtedly a dramatic shift towards digital downloads occurring, and that means that the PlayStation Store is a big part Part of this transition. Sony is raking in unfathomable sums of money through its online storefront, and with such big books on the line, I thought it was time that I made a video talking about how I think the PlayStation Store can improve in 2018 and beyond. But before I get into my five areas that I think Sony can strengthen, please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more PlayStation content. And with that said, let's get into it. So my first suggestion is a simple one and it's wish lists. Now the PlayStation Store actually already has wish lists, but you can't access them on the PS4 itself, which is just outright stupid. It's one of the machine's most bizarre omissions because a simple wish list would allow you to keep track of any games that you've got your eye on and maybe you could even share these with your friends and show off what games you're looking forward to and look at what games they're looking forward to. I mean, Sony could even send you notifications based on your wish list, um, alerting you of like sales or price changes and stuff like that. So the PlayStation Store, or more specifically the PS4, really needs a wish list. Number two, and this plays into wish lists a little bit, but it's to be able to gift games to your friends or family. Um, most online storefronts these days will allow you to gift products to other users, but the PlayStation Store is an absentee, of course. Um, with more and more of us switching to digital, it would be really nice if Sony allowed us to give and receive games to each other without having to go through all the rigmarole of purchasing PlayStation Network credit and exchanging ugly 12 character codes. And I mean, you could even pair this with the wish list that I mentioned earlier, um, allowing you to browse your friend's wish list and maybe even purchase a game or two off their wish list if it's their birthday or Christmas or whatever. It's, it just makes sense for Sony and it's a great money spinner as a result. So number three is the search functionality. Now I actually don't hate the PlayStation Store search tool as much as many people do. Um, I think the feature has some cool functionality where it kind of predicts the name of the game you're searching for and it adapts the character role as a result, but it's inefficient I guess and it's definitely incongruent with the rest of the PS4's user interface. Um, and more frustrating is that it actually doesn't always work as well as it's supposed to do. So that can be annoying. Um, um, and I think Sony should improve it. Number four is less of a feature and more of a policy, but I think it's probably the most important one here, and it's refunds. So um, Steam has kind of led the way in this department, and credit where credit's due, Microsoft's recently followed in its footsteps with the Xbox One. So I think it's important Sony doesn't get left behind on refunds. There are definitely headaches to consider here, like how much game time is fair before a refund should be refused, for example, but I think any policy on refunds is better than none at all. So my fifth and final suggestion for improving the PlayStation Store is all about discoverability. There are dozens of new releases on the PlayStation Store every single week, and I don't think the shop does a very good job of showing you what's new or tailoring itself to your taste and recommending you stuff that you might like based on what you've played or based on what your friends play. Um, I think this is the single biggest thing that Sony needs to solve because there's so much content on the PlayStation Store store, but does any of it really stand out or is it all just noise at the end of the day? Um, and I think I don't have a specific answer for how to solve this, but I think it's something that Sony really needs to be thinking carefully about in 2018 to stop so much content slipping through the cracks and to make the shopping experience in general just much better and much easier. But how do you think Sony can improve the PlayStation Store in 2018? What are some of your pet peeves when you visit the PlayStation Store? Or do you think it's actually really good these days and you don't have any real suggestions for how it can be improved? Let me know in the comments section below. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more PlayStation content. And thank you so much for watching.